Okay, guys, I'm back. I've come back to you at the turn of the tide. <laughs> Just kidding. But no, seriously, after a lot of hard work, a lot of planning, a lot of diagramming, formulating, strategizing, and basically just a lot of bullshit. <laughs> I think I have the solution for this puzzle. The left one is actually already solved. I got that one. That one uh, wasn't super duper tricky after I figured everything else out. This one I'm not so sure on. Please do me a favor and cross your fingers, cross your toes. Here we go. Yes! Ah, <laughs> it's done! I did them both! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. What it what it do? Okay, we'll have to follow that line out there then. Guys, this was uh this was a lot of work. This is the most work I've had to do in this game, maybe in any video game, <laughs> just to solve a puzzle. Pretty satisfying though. I don't even know how to explain what I did. Um, I'm I have a I have a diagram that I wrote down on a sheet of paper, actually like four different diagrams. I think I'll post a link to it in the description of this video if you want to see it. But basically what I had to do, so there's three different color tints here. Uh, I noticed that the only tints that they really, uh, the only colors that they change on these these symbols are they make them black and white. There's That's all they are, there's no variation. So I started off by just drawing a chart of all three of them, uh, depending on the color tint, you know, I would, I copied down the pattern and I made them either white or black. I did that for all three of them. And then I made a fourth chart that was uh, just all white symbols. And then I looked, I picked through the charts and I fig I looked at like which ones were black, uh, depending on the, the tint of the puzzle. And I used uh, basically three different symbols to like notarize that on the, the symbols themselves, like three different slashes, like a, like a pipe a forward slash and a back slash, and I overlaid them on top of the fourth diagram. Then that let me see basically like which ones were the same and which ones were different across all three colors. And then I copied them down a fifth time just using uh, sim like simple like letter notations. So like one, like the first type was A, the second type was B, third type was C, yada, yada, yada. It turns out that for this one, I think there were actually seven different colors that had to be separated out. And then for this one, there were only four that had to be paired out. Uh, that's that's the that's as best as I can put it into words. Uh, that's how I, f I figured that out. The whole process took quite a while. I'm really proud of myself for getting that. Holy mother of God. If that's what the, the end portion is going to be like, this is going to take quite a long time. This is the first time in this game I've had to even break out a notepad. I'm not... Actually, no, I'm, I'm convinced I would not have been able to do that if I didn't, like, plan it out on paper. It just, it wouldn't have happened. There's no way you can keep all that in your head. You'd have to be, like, a genius. You'd have to be god-level puzzle expert guy to do that just in your head. Now, here's what pisses me off. I spent all this time doing that. I got it right. It's taken care of. What did it do? This line, they only go up there. There's three lines, they, they correspond to the lights. They're both solved, right? The solution's staying on there, I got the happy noise, that means it's correct. But nothing changed. Why did I do this? Why is this, why is this puzzle here? Why did I spend all this fucking time doing this? It didn't change anything. It didn't help me progress in this area. Nothing's different. Nothing's different. I mean, something might be different. I could look around and try and find stuff, but I don't see... Nothing is apparently different. What the fuck? You have any idea how much that pisses me off? Fuck this game. Why is it like that? Why is everything so fucking vague? God damn it. Now I don't know what to do. I was all set to record another fucking episode. I was going to be all happy because I did a really good job solve those puzzles. I thought the way forward would become apparent. There's that fucking panel, just not doing anything, sitting there mocking me with the same fucking design everywhere I look at it. This fucking panel here doesn't do shit. You can put it any way you want, it doesn't matter because nothing's different. This fucking game, I swear to fuck. Yeah, that's how I fucking feel too. Just looking right up into the sky asking God why. Why is this happening? Why me? Why is it like this? What the fuck is going on? Ugh. 
Okay, guys, uh, definitely at my wit's end here. Uh, came over to the lake and just started looking around, <laughs> just desperately looking for a clue to anything. And I realized that these little blocks that are lit up, uh, just kind of had an epiphany about them. There's a lot more of them lit up than there were when I was looking at all this shit at the beginning of the game. The whole time I was thinking that you had to, like, figure out how to light up the rest of them somehow. And it just occurred to me, they look almost exactly like the uh, Super Mario question blocks <laughs> that you're getting the lasers from. So I'm pretty sure that these just light up in correspondence with the lasers that you solve. Um, this is backed up by the fact that we've got this one here. If we come over to this side, there's one more there. And then there's a third little guy here that's not lit up. But that's actually being held up by a, a statue in the water, which is pretty cool. Um, I gotta imagine that that corresponds to, like, the end game. Like, maybe that'll light up once we fully solve everything in the game, or just get the ending or something. So, yeah. I'm not sure if that's, like, significant for any reason other than just a cool little observation. But I think I figured out what these things are all about. They, they actually correspond to the lasers on the island. So, that's cool. Maybe something will happen here once we get all that shit filled up. Maybe the lake will solidify and I'll be able to walk out and touch them, or... Hell, I don't know. Um, it's been like a half hour of me just wandering around this village, trying desperately to figure out anything, anything at all, and I am pretty much at a standstill. This is a little worrying. Uh, up to this point in the game, I haven't had to go look up anything. Uh... I just, I don't, that's not the kind of gamer I am. I don't see the point in playing a video game if you're going to use a walkthrough. But I'm starting to reach a point where I don't really know what to do at all. Like, this, this game is just so vague about certain things. And especially for purposes of, of a Let's Play, you know, if, if it was just me, I'd be happy to spend a week running around here until something clicks. Because I'm really stubborn that way. But I don't want to wait a week to update and uh, show progression, you know? So, yeah, I'm hoping something clicks really soon or else this is going to get ugly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does this actually let me up here? Oh, thank you. God. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I decided to come back up and keep messing with that panel right there because I realized that... I mean, I, I knew before that, that the shapes of these blocks here corresponded to the puzzle, so... There was something weird there. Um, I was looking at, like... I actually went back to... How did I do this? <laughs> I went back to that building over there and I was just looking at the door that I, un that I unlocked to this tower and I realized that I couldn't get to that door yet because this door here was still locked. So there had to be a way to get that door open. I didn't know if it was related to this puzzle that I've been going nuts over. By the way, it looks like here's the other angle I needed for that. That's great. That's one less monkey off my back. Uh, but yeah, so that line of thinking led me to wonder there's got to be more panels around here that I can't see. And then from that same vantage point, I noticed that there was a cable leading up to this building. So I came back over here, uh, got the correct view, and I noticed, oh, yep, there's definitely puzzles right over here that I haven't even gotten to yet. And from that line of logic, I deduced this thing has to be a bridge to get to this building, especially with this plank sticking out, like, right there. I kind of thought that these this puzzle was, like, altering something outside of this building that I couldn't see. Because it still lets you solve it with, you know, uh, the solution that doesn't actually form the bridge. Which mentally tricked me into thinking that, you know, it was a valid solution to, that would be helpful for something. But it wasn't. So I thought about it some more, and I finally figured it out. That's my long-winded explanation for how the hell I got here. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, what do we got? We've got some, uh, symmetry puzzles. We've got to separate the white and the black by forming the lines. That's not it at all. Maybe something like that. That should do it. Okay. 
wow, it feels good to solve a puzzle in like 15 seconds after just, <laughs> just sucking so bad for the last, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. Got a lot of chopping up to do, as usual. That's just how this game goes. Uh, nope, that's not going to do it. It's been a while since I did these uh, double line tracing puzzles. This might, this might take a hot minute. Or that could work. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. How do we want to do this now? We want to go like no. Maybe if we cut those off first and then. No. If we we can't we can't circle that one like that. That doesn't work either. If I just grab that one straight away. That's close, but no cigar. At least it doesn't make me redo the old one when I fuck this one up. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if my feeble mind can take that right now. I might just go crazy. <laughs> okay. All of these are like the exact same concept, just getting progressively harder. This one has a dot to collect. That shakes things up a little bit. Well, what if we... Hmm, no. This one's gonna be fun, I can tell already. If we come over like that, no. <laughs> Screw it. Do it that way. No, it doesn't work. Okay, we can't come the whole way up and start like that because that blocks the exit. <sighs> Maybe... Ooh, that... Damn, that was promising right till the end here. Uh, damn, that's so close. There's some way I can fix that. All right. Didn't really employ any, like, sweet brain logic to figure that. I just kind of <laughs> trialed and erred my whole way through it. And this one's going to be the exact same way, just so you guys know. Uh, with this one, we have to approach from this side. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty close to a good solution already. What if we just back it up and go like that? Does that work? Oh, Billy. Sweet Billy. Okay. So now that door's open, still don't think we can quite get to the top, but we're getting there. And now I might be able to solve this fellow here. It's a little weird. I gotta figure out where the starting and end point is. Will you let me trace it from here? Okay, come on. There you go. There you go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. All right. Movement. I heard movement. Did it open that did it open that last door? Am I that lucky? <laughs> I feel like I just made a huge amount of progress in a really short amount of time after getting clobbered for so long. Okay. Let's move up. Uh-huh. By the way, is this where I can solve that environmental puzzle that I couldn't get? Oh, that tree is just sort of in the way. 
Maybe if we go up a little higher. I'm pretty sure there's one last environmental puzzle with that uh, manhole or whatever it is. Oh yeah, there it is. No, because now the tower's in the way. Fuck! Okay. What about here? Oh, it's gotta be it. Yeah, yeah! Alright, I think that's all of them for this guy. Although... This part right here... Looks like it's involved in something, but it's still not highlighted. Ah, <sighs> maybe there is more. I don't know. I can't think about that right now. The environmental puzzles, that's gonna be a whole other thing. Guys, we made it. We made it! Call it the village this whole time. Like the Death Star getting ready to blow up the sun. That was awesome. Okay. Holy shit, guys. That's ten lasers. Now, I know that the last one that I need is in the bamboo forest, and I think that one might actually already be ready to roll. <laughs> if I recall, the last time I was there, I solved a puzzle. It popped up and blocked the path that I had just come up from, and I couldn't really figure out how to get back around. And, uh, finish whatever I was trying to finish. I'm not sure how that worked 100%. But the town is done. Holy shit, that feels so good. That feels so good! That area was hard! Beat my ass! All over the place. Now, I said in a couple videos back that I was going to go to the ending once I got 10 lasers and then go back and do it again after 11 because I thought that was significant. Uh, some more information has come to light recently that that's not the case. So I think we will actually just, real quick, try and polish off this last one. Ah, the noises. Ah. Um, it might be a hassle because I honestly don't know how to get to it. I know, like, you can see it when you're up on the mountain. I don't know if it's accessible yet, though. It's not accessible from here. That much we can be assured of. Okay, let's try... Let me down here. Damn it. Occasionally I get really annoyed with how this game doesn't let you just walk off a short ledge like that. I understand why they designed it that way, but it still annoys me. Okay, this was the guy. As soon as I hit that, this board popped up and was just like, you cannot go that way. This actually, this kind of looks like the same thing that you trigger when you're triggering a laser. So I don't know why it would just pop up and be like that. That was a windmill puzzle, we got that. Never really did finish off this guy. I'm not sure why this thing's here. There's still much in this game that we just, we still don't even understand. And I definitely should be able to do this now, but I'm honestly not even sure what kind of puzzle it's supposed to be. Could be a shadow puzzle, could be a perspective puzzle. I 
I've tried these leaves multiple times. They don't really seem to work, but I could just be looking at it wrong. It's so weird. <sighs> I have to figure out how to get to the other side of this thing. There's got to be like... There's got to be like an easy path if you come in from the other side. Maybe that's the whole point of solving this thing, is it just gives you a shortcut to go around quickly. There's no real clear solution here. Ah, damn it. <laughs> There's kind of a path through the light, but it's not real... It's not real clear. I don't think that's right. Really? Why? Why would it block me right there? There's literally nothing there. There's fucking nothing. What? I hate this place. I hate this place so much. Look at this obelisk. I don't have any environmental puzzles here. None. I found a couple places that looks like uh, they are puzzles, but I couldn't really figure out the right perspective. And then this one looks super simple. But it's just a big fuck you. <laughs> you probably have to go stand like right in front of it. Oh, I remember it's there some other time. Okay. That's not the place I'm looking for. Trying to figure out how to just get to the other side of that that wall that popped up and cock blocked me. This place is like a maze. I've been referring to it as a maze for this entire game. It's not really a maze. I mean, it sort of is. It's not an overly complicated maze, but it's complicated enough that it pisses me off and keeps me from knowing exactly where I am. Damn it. This should be simple. Okay. That's not right. We need to be farther over here. These are all already solved. There's environmental puzzles all over this place. Like, the moss on the trees. They're all puzzles, but it's, like, super hard to find the right way to do it. Like this right here. Won't even let me start it. What about... Ah. Alright. There's one small victory. Just one. That's something. That's something I can take home. Something I can take home in cash. There's another path right up there. This one is... Does it have the same solution? Can I go up instead of left? Probably not, right? Yeah, I didn't figure. It's got to be lined up somewhere else. Oh. Okay. Hey. 
There's two. <laughs> two out of God knows how many in this area. Oh, hey, recorder. If we were not able or did not desire to look in any new direction, if we did not have a doubt or recognize ignorance, we would not get any new ideas. There would be nothing worth checking because we would know what is true. So what we call scientific knowledge today is a body of statements of varying degrees of certainty. Some of them are most unsure, some of them are nearly sure, but none is absolutely certain. Scientists are used to this. We know that it is consistent to be able to live and not know. Some people say, how, how can you live without knowing? I do not know what they mean. I always live without knowing. That is easy. How you get to know is what I want to know. This Freedom to doubt is an important matter in the sciences, and I believe in other fields. It was born of a struggle. It was a struggle to be permitted to doubt, to be unsure. And I do not want us to forget the importance of the struggle, and by default, to let the thing fall away. I feel a responsibility as a scientist who knows the great value of a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, and the progress made possible by such a philosophy. Progress, which is the fruit of freedom of thought. I feel a responsibility to proclaim the value of this freedom and to teach that doubt is not to be feared, but that it is to be welcomed as the possibility of a new potential for human beings. If you know that you are not sure, you have a chance to improve the situation. I want to demand this freedom for future generations. Richard Feynman. 1963. Hmm, another Feynman quote. I think that's the second one we've had from a recorder. I don't think I saw this statue before, by the way. That's cool. She's got actual paint on her easel. Just looking out over this guy. The swamp. Oh, the swamp. Fuck you, swamp. Well, guys, we've done it. It's been a long, hard road. But by God, we have 11 lasers up on that mountain. And that means that all that's really left to do is to go up there and start the end game. And then whatever is going to come after that. Still, I know that there's tons and tons of environmental puzzles to solve. And I'm sticking with what I said before right now. The plan is for me to do that mostly off camera. I'll probably record all of it and then just make like a super cut. No commentary. Just so you guys can see what they were and yada yada. Uh... I don't know if that'll make for interesting viewing or not, but I'll put it up for anybody who wants to see it. Now, I'll give you the standard disclaimer that I've been saying this whole time, guys. The end game is probably going to take a lot of brain power, a lot of work, a lot of time. The update schedule may fall behind. If it does, I apologize. It's only because it's taking me so long to get through it and, you know, cut the videos and all that stuff. Um, I promise you I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get through it as fast as I can. That's my promise. <laughs> So just know that going forward. Look forward to the end. If you stuck around this long, thanks for the support. And guys, I'll see you up on the mountain. Take care.